Tell us who you are, where you're from, and what you do. Hi, uh, I'm Chris Dreyer. I'm from the Colorado School of Mines, and I'm a professor of space resources there. Now, you've been in Luxembourg for a couple of days. We'll come to that in a moment. But firstly, the Colorado School of Mines has been really active in this industry for quite a while. That's right. Um, there's been some kind of involvement in space resources or space mining at the School of Mines for uh, since almost the dawn of the space age. And um, from the beginning, we and, and NASA knew that, that resources would need to be used to, in space to sustain human presence in space. Um, a lot of things have changed recently, and, and Mines has had a, a continuous presence in, in actively doing space resources research for about the last 20 years. Within the last few years, things have changed significantly. Uh, we're now returning to the moon, and we are talking uh, both, both the United States and all international partners about a sustained presence in space, and that's going to take, um, take the use of resources in space to enable sustained presence there. And that brings us to why you're here in Luxembourg. So for the last couple of days, you've been teaching a shortened version of something you teach back in Colorado. So tell us about what you've done here. Right, yeah. The, the first two days of this week, um, I and, and several other faculty were teaching, both here from the School of Mines, the ISU, and, and Luxembourg, taught a short course on space resources. And um, a big portion of it was based on the courses we've developed at the School of Mines for our graduate program in space resources. And it's a broad overview of what are space resources, what's the work that's gone into developing them and understanding what's out there in space, um, and how the, what are the legal and economic issues about um, acquiring them, using them, and, and who would use them, and how we'd use them. It's, it's a very broad uh, topic. Um, that uh, we often find students really engage with. And, and of this very broad topic, and, and you've been here at the, the Space Mining Summit today, what areas most excite you personally? Uh, the most excite me are the things that we can do that are near-term activities in space that enable a future that might be decades away where we have thousands of people living in space and working and doing doing new kinds of space missions and new activities. Uh, there's really a lot that can be done in the near term and uh, a lot to do. Uh, a lot of it relates directly to things we might do on Earth and mining. Uh, we, we, have, um, we have places where engineers, scientists, ec economists, lawyers, and uh, business professionals can all get involved in use of space resources. And when we think about uh, all of the framework involved around space resources, you've mentioned the, the legal aspect of it as well, which is a slightly gray area, and the science element. So there really is almost a field for anybody. That's right, yeah. Um, in the short course, uh, also in our, our program at the School of Mines, we see that uh, people are coming at this, this field from all sorts of directions. We had lawyers in, in our short course. We had lawyers. We had business professionals in uh, terrestrial, mineral, and gas. Uh, we had engineers, we have scientists. Uh, we have just simply a very broad spectrum of people, and there's a, there's a way for a lot of, for everyone to engage in the development of space resources. It, it's not just a technological question or a scientific. Uh, it, it takes a integrated approach to bring all of it together so that we could quickly develop the, the, the mining in space and kind of an industrialization of space. Well, we're so happy to have you here in Luxembourg, you, your faculty, and your expertise. I'm sorry about the weather. It's been a little bit <laughs> unlike Colorado homeland, right. but it can be beautiful here too. Thank you so much for your time and your expertise. Thank you. Well, uh, thank you very much. It's been, it is great to be here, and um, yeah, it is a beautiful place, uh, even when it's raining. <laughs> Thank you, thank you.